Hi, in this video we're just going to show you a little bit about the networking of the 4-channel DVR. So, to get into this, go into the main menu, and if you're not logged in already, it'll ask you for a username and password. By default, this is admin and blank. Uh, as we say in all our other videos, this is something you should change the minute you get your new box. Um, always put a password on it for security reasons, okay? So, I'm just going to log in there and go back in. And what we want to do is go over to system and go into network. So this is basically it. There's a couple of ways you can do this. You can do it through a static IP or you can use DHCP. Okay, but what we'd recommend is using static. Okay, it just makes things a bit simpler for you. And that's basically it. So the option here is basically for the net card, it's just a wire net card, which is just the internet port on the back of the box. Your IP address you can set here. By default, most uh, most local area networks will start with something like 192.168, you know, dot something, dot something. Um, and you, there's another video in our series showing you how you can ascertain what, um, what uh, convention or what range you're using basically for your IP addresses on your local area network. And then you can just set one here you know, I'm just going to set it to 100. So it's 192.168.1.100. The other important thing to note is that your subnet mask should be the same as what you've obtained on your local area network. And by using the command, as we've shown in another video called ipconfig, you'll be able to ascertain this. You can also set your gateway here and also set your DNS entries, so your primary and your secondary. Okay, so you can leave the TCP port and HTTP port um, the same. And that's it. And just for transfer policy, this is basically, you know, the quality of the streaming and stuff like that. So you can use adaptive, high quality or high fluency. High fluency would be lesser quality. High quality would be lesser fluency, if you know what I mean. Um, it just depends on the speed of your network and things like that. But most people's networks, especially internal ones anyway, would be, would be very zippy. So you can say just use quality preferred. And then you just click OK. So the other thing I'm just going to mention at this point is in the net service, this is a very important number here. It's the mobile uh, monitor number. So just uh, take a note of that if you're going to be using it on your mobile or tablet or something like that. So it's 34599. And that's basically it. Um, you can just right click then to go back to your live recordings there. So that's uh, that's it in a nutshell, basically. Just a little bit about the... Um, the setup of the networking on the four channel DVR.